Hello, I am Dharma Mitra. I am doing yoga for the past 55 years. And my main subject in my study is to learn about to be vegan. And today I spend all, all my time, most of my time, trying to make people vegan. That's the food of the future, vegan. Dharma Mitra. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah. How are you liking all this cold Colorado weather? Despite of all this not favorable weather, it's yeah. still blissful. Yeah. I feel thankful and grateful to be here. Oh, well, we're thankful and grateful to have you. So one question, I know you talk a lot about um, being vegan. Why, why is it important to be uh, kind to our animal friends? Is that ahimsa? Why do you care about that? As we grow ethically civilized, mm -hmm. our compassion goes beyond the pets. <laughs> beyond the what? Beyond our pets and friends. Oh, beyond pets, yeah, yeah. Because nowadays, their compassion only go to up to their pets, right. and after that they see pets, the animals as food. Right. And regarding health and spiritual growth, we must be vegan. Mm. I think most of the problems and obstacles that we encounter in trigger, triggering subtle senses of perception are of sometimes subtle animal. Subtle senses of the what? Senses of perception. perception. In other words, trying to activate our third eye. Hmm. Most of us who want to achieve good results, we have to adopt for a while a vegan diet. Hmm. I am vegan for a long time and I spend lots of time in my workshop talking about compassion. Mm. When the compassion is fully updated, one automatically becomes vegan. Mm. Why the aliens don't land here? I don't know. They have very powerful telescopes. Uh -huh. <laughs> they zoom into the McDonald's Right. Oh my god. And they don't want to go. People here are still eating animal. Yeah. So, and it's also very healthy to oh, be yeah? vegan. I mean, you're, how, uh, how old are you? Oh, 70, almost 77. I mean, and look at this man. He's a handsome and, man. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I don't see flu for years. I believe that if you are really out of dairy, your body do not accept flus for some reason. Mm. You become like immune. Mm. This is by, by my own experience. Mm. And I think we should not, it's not right to eat animal product. So is a good way to start for those who like to eat meat and cheese is to eat a little less one day? Well, the change is gradual. First, we eliminate the flesh. We still keep the eggs and the mozzarella. Right. And then after a while, a few more weeks, a month, we remove the eggs, the embryos. <laughs> so one step at a time. Right. When the body adjusts, yeah. then keep the mozzarella. And what do you like to eat? What gives you strength? Lots of smoothies. Of what? Smooth. Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I have a high-speed blend, a magic bullet. Yeah. It's wonderful. I don't eat much solid food at all. Wow, so lots of veggie juice. Right, yeah. and it's wonderful. Look like your organs become smaller. I mm. noticed that the past few years, mm. everything shrinking here. Then you're still strong. Yeah, it's stronger, less weight. Yeah. Less. Number two. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel great. Yeah, a lot more Amazing. number one. And the mind is always sharp. 
Ah. Meditation ends always in light, in bliss. Mm. Even the yoga, some part of it, we have to update. Mm. Nobody is eating ghee anymore. Mm -hmm. We have today celestial virgin olive oil, mm. ham oil, Coconut. flux oil. Oh. We are not using oil from animals anymore. Well, Dharma Mitra, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate Pleasure. it. And you look wonderful. <laughs> thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you. People will learn from it.